I love this story about two creative geniuses, Thomas Edison and Salvador Dali, who recognized they were most creative in that lucid moment before naps. What they do is they'd put something heavy in their hands and they'd sit in a chair and right before they'd fall asleep, their hand would drop the object and they'd wake up. And that's when they felt like they came up with their biggest creative ideas. And I think in this world where we're on the go all the time, it's important to understand when your mind is most supple and build that more into your life. I know for me, I feel most creative first thing in the morning after a full eight hours of sleep, which does not happen all the time, but when it does, it's like magic. Or after my family's technology Shabbats where we turn off screens for one day every week, we're on our fifth year of doing it and coming off that day where we've had all this time to daydream, it's my most creative and productive time. I'm Tiffany Schlein, I'm a mother, filmmaker, I founded the Webby Awards, and this series is about how the future doesn't start somewhere far off in the distance. The future starts here. We used to think that our brains were relatively dormant when we were resting, whether asleep or just zoning out. But over time, we figured out that a lot of really important things are happening in there. Like Freud said, sleep dreams are about repression and wish fulfillment. Or Carl Jung, that our dreams are universal symbols. And there are all sorts of newer theories that dreams are simulating threats or washing out toxins or trying to predict outcomes, which makes sense to me since our brains are learning machines and we're trying to imagine all the possibilities. Dr. Deirdre Barrett from Harvard suggests that dreams are a kind of theater to solve problems, partly because the dreaming mind makes connections more quickly than the waking mind does. That's why I always try to remind myself when I'm stuck on something, let me just sleep on it. A lot of times I'll wake up in the middle of the night with an idea and I'll scribble it down on a pad of paper and sometimes in the morning, I can't read it at all. Or sometimes I'm like, yeah, I want to put that in a movie and it all makes sense. Or one time my husband Ken said that in the middle of the night, I said to him, shh, I'm in a script meeting. And while there's still no consensus on why we dream, most people would agree that sleep is important. Oh, hey, Ariana. But what I've been really fascinated with recently is daydreaming. I've been having all these conversations with Dr. Michael Rich at Harvard, who looks at media's effect on youth. And he's been sharing with me all these ideas about what happens to the brain when we're daydreaming, when we're zoning out and doing things on autopilot, like going for a walk, doing the dishes, gardening, taking a shower. When we're doing these things, our brain falls into what's called the default mode network, as opposed to the task positive network, which kicks in when we're focusing on a task. But the default mode network is this amazing network of neurons that actually makes up something like 60 to 80% of our brains. And when our brains are in that wandering mode, we imagine the future, reflect on memories, and think about other people's perspectives. It's like taking a journey through our own minds without even thinking about it, a trip in our own minds. And there's no real structure to these thoughts, it's all stream of consciousness. So our minds find connections between things that we didn't see as connected before. And we all have these moments. Like recently, I was at a flea market and I saw this crazy exercise spinning disc from the 50s. And it reminded me of those old-fashioned hypnosis film effects in old movies. And then that reminded me of watching old movies in college. And then I thought, do they still do that thing with the clock and hypnosis? And then I thought of my sister-in-law, who's a pediatrician who does hypnosis with kids, and I wondered if hypnosis relates to daydreaming. Okay, that little ride, that was the default mode network. And no one else has the combination of memories, experiences, and perspectives that you do. So the paths you take through all these places are unique and builds you, your unique self that's not duplicated anywhere else. And I think that's where creativity comes from, letting your mind wander through all these connections. Ken and I call it the association of free association. My sister, who's an artist, once wrote that she would never get a Blackberry back in the day when everyone had Blackberries, for fear it would take her mind away from being creative and daydreaming. Because, and I've learned this part recently, the default mode network is like a neural reset to replenish your productive side. And when you think about it, we used to spend so many more hours just zoning out, sitting in a waiting room, staring into space. Now we have all these screens right in front of us all the time and it's so tempting to just stare at that screen instead of letting our minds wander. So now when I'm standing in line, I try to think, don't reach for the device. 
even bringing screens to bed to unwind. Because the kind of light that comes from screens is similar to sunlight, which triggers our brains to say, it's daytime, be productive. So basically it's saying, don't go to sleep. Now sleep, my chick So close your eyes and dream. So by unwinding with screens in the bed, we're actually winding ourselves up. And really, there's only two things you should be doing in the bedroom. The more science that I learn about the default mode network, the more it justifies taking time to just look at the windows, exercise, put away the cell phone. So when I kick back into my task positive mode, I'm that much more creative and that much more productive. So this is my case for dreaming. Daydreaming, night dreaming, and just dreaming in general. I'm a mother, filmmaker, I founded the Webby Awards, and this series is about how the future doesn't start somewhere far off in the distance. The future starts here.